I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered if woodpeckers get headaches? A great spotted woodpecker can hit its bill against a hard surface 20 times per second and astonishingly at 1,200 G. An astronaut or fighter pilot can barely withstand 10 G. So how on earth does a woodpecker survive such an impact without suffering severe brain damage, a detached retina, or even a mild migraine? Well, the key to their head-banging success lies in a series of superb anatomical features. Firstly, the lower jaw is longer than the upper, and it's thought that this helps to direct impact away from the brain along the lower jaw. The brain itself is protected by a huge amount of spongy bone, primarily around the forehead, and scientists believe that this helps cushion the blow. In addition, woodpeckers have a very special tongue. It starts in the right nostril, comes back over the head, wraps around the skull before exiting through the mouth. Combined with a bony structure called the hyoid apparatus, it's thought that this acts like a safety belt for the head, helping to absorb shock and high stress. Right before impact, a woodpecker covers its eyes with a nictitating membrane, which acts like a pair of safety goggles, stopping wood chips and splinters from damaging its eyes. Combined, all of these adaptations allow the woodpecker to peck at 7 metres per second and take up to 12,000 knocks a day. Without even a hint of a headache. But of course, the woodpecker isn't the only animal to take a knock to the head. Gannets plunge dive for food beneath the sea surface. They plummet from 10 to 40 metres high and hit the water at over 60 miles per hour, reaching depths of up to 5 metres. They are able to do this thanks to a super streamlined torpedo shape, which helps them pierce the water and minimise impact. They also have thick skulls like a crash helmet and they have air sacs around their neck and shoulders which help to protect their body during impact. But gannets have to deal with an added dimension when it comes to head banging because they do it at sea. So to stop high pressure jets of fluid flooding their skull when they hit the water, they don't have nostrils. has taken a completely different approach to avoiding collisions. The spines of a hedgehog look like they are for one thing only, deterring predators, but in fact, they double up as a safety blanket. Each spine can withstand a large amount of mechanical energy, only buckling under extreme pressure. The result is a prickly shock absorber, which saves the animal when it falls from height, a behavioural characteristic which is surprisingly common. So while head injuries sustained in car crashes or sports collisions commonly cause severe brain damage or even death, hedgehogs, gannets and of course woodpeckers can take a knock without so much as a headache.